Which polar explorer was accompanied by Samoyeds on his campaigns? Watch to the end and find out the answer. The Samoyed is a large but stylish dog. Samis are stunningly beautiful but incredibly efficient. They are powerful, relentless, and have a thick or white coat that is impenetrable to cold. Sami who has been sentenced to yard solitary confinement is an unhappy and destructive creature. These are intelligent, social, and mischievous dogs who require a lot of love and attention. When it comes to training, Samis require a firm but kind hand. The smiling sledge dogs known as Samoids were bred for hard work in the world's coldest climates. The Sami's characteristic white coat is thick enough to keep him safe from the extremes. Powerful, agile, relentless, and cold-resistant Samis are not only stunning, but also extremely functional. Even the most appealing trait, a permanent smile, serves a functional purpose. The upturned corners of Sami's mouth discourage them from drooling, which prevents icicles from forming on their faces. Hello and welcome to a channel about zoology in general and dogs specifically. My name is Bridazilla, and I'm one of the hosts of this channel. I'm going to provide you with all the information about the Samoid. If you like me, and the content about lovely animals please subscribe to my channel. I promise, if you stick to the end of this video you will learn a lot. Let us start right now. The word Samoid is derived from the Samoedic people, also known as Samoedic people, a semi-nomadic population from Asia who migrated to Siberia a thousand years ago. They raised canines for rigorous work in the world's coldest inhabited areas. The Samoid people of Siberia used Samoids for hunting, reindeer herding, and sledge hauling. Males must weigh between 20 and 29 kilos and have a shoulder height of 53-60 centimeters, while females must weigh between 16 and 23 kilos and have a shoulder height of 48-53 centimeters, according to the AKC standard. In England, the first breed standard was adopted in 1909. In 1923, the first Samoyed Club of America was formed, the same year that the American breed standard was adopted. Samoid eyes are almond-shaped, and usually black or brown. Samoids with blue eyes do exist, but they are not allowed in the show ring. Samoid ears are thick and fur-covered, triangular in shape, and stand upright. They are usually invariably white, with a mild to dark brown color to various degrees. One of the breed's unique attributes is the Samoid tail. The tail is curled over the back and is held so close to the back that it touches it. To give additional warmth, Samoids may sleep with their tails over their noses. When they are relaxed and at peace, such as when being petted or eating, almost all Samoids will let their tails down, but when they are more attentive, they will curl them back up. When they're young, the Samoid, like all dogs, needs early socialization exposure to a variety of people, sights, sounds, and experiences. Socialization is important in ensuring that your Samoid puppy develops into a well-rounded dog. Enrolling him in puppy kindergarten is a terrific place to start. Regularly inviting visitors over and taking him to crowded parks, dog-friendly stores, and leisurely strolls to meet neighbors can all help him improve his social skills. Because of their gentle and affable nature, Samoids make terrible guard dogs, aggressive Samoids are uncommon. However, because of their proclivity for barking, they can serve as attentive watchdogs, barking whenever something enters their neighborhood. Samoids make terrific companions, especially for little children or other canines, and they may be playful well into their senior years. When bored, Samoids may become destructive or begin digging. Dog agility competitions, karting, obedience, showmanship, flyball, tracking, mushing, and herding are all events that Samoids can compete in. Samoids like spending time with their family and taking part in activities. They require daily exercise and like playing in a securely fenced yard with their owner or taking prolonged leash walks. Sammies have a great desire to run away and roam, and if let loose, they may roam for kilometers, putting themselves in danger. Samoids are typically healthy dogs, and responsible breeders check their stock for diseases like hip dysplasia, as well as eye and cardiac problems. Brush your Samoids' teeth on a regular basis with a toothpaste made for dogs. Regular vet visits for examinations and parasite control guarantee that the dog has a long and healthy life. If you are raising a Samoid puppy, you need to be extra careful. The Samoyed, like many large breed dogs, grows quickly between the ages of 4 and 7 months, putting them at risk for bone problems and damage. They thrive on a high-quality, low-calorie diet that restricts their growth. The breed has a life expectancy of 12-13 years. The high-quality dog food, whether professionally created or prepared at home with your veterinarian's supervision and consent, should be fine for the Samoyed. Any diet should be tailored to the age of the dog. Some dogs are prone to becoming overweight, so keep an eye on their calorie intake and weight. 
The Samoid has a double coat, with a longer rough outer coat and a soft, thick, fluffy undercoat. Samoids shed a lot all of the time, but it's especially bad during shedding season, which can happen once or twice a year. Brushing the dog on a daily basis will assist to eliminate dirt and loose hairs, and keep him looking his best. A slicker brush or metal comb can be used to remove mats or tangles. Every three to four weeks, or as needed, the nails should be clipped. And now the answer to the question from the beginning of the video. Samwitz accompanied Roald Amundsen in his successful landmark reach of the South Pole in 1911. Congratulations! You have learned a lot today about such a wonderful breed as the Samwitz. To learn much more about dogs subscribe to my channel and watch other videos. Please hit the like button below and comment. Peace.